It's a beautiful Sunday evening. Welcome to your cinematic world of movies, your cinematic world of wonders. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to get all your friends, your family, anybody you know that loves movies, to sit down right now and turn the radio up to 11 and listen to some juicy cinematic gossips and news. My name is Focus, the Batman. And I am the man with no name. And when we say up to 11, we don't mean 11 o'clock. Like within this 8 o'clock hour, enjoy the show. Well, your boy, the sidekick, is still in the studio. <clears throat> Mona, just continue. You don't need to say anything. Just continue. <laughs> <laughs> clear throat. Why, why are you clearing your throat now? So I go deep, small. Maybe they don't say a man they talk. <laughs> <laughs> it shall not change. It's the sidekick. Let's continue the show. So you know how we do. We bring you movies that are coming out this week. Movies that came out last week. We check out some cinematic movie news. You just listen to the trailer for Blue Beetle. And I'm excited to see that movie because I love the character Jaime very much as I watched him in Young Justice. And I think it's a character, like Ivan just said, it's a character that um, kind of like, you know, parallels yeah, like Venom. Venom, yeah. He has this carab in his bag that is based on an alien technology that, you know, advises him on what to do and protects him and, you know, basically can, can morph into anything his, any his weapon imagination can wants. carry. And don't forget, hit us up on social media. You can follow at Popcorn and Reels on all socials and you'll be live with us. Yes, we are live right now on Popcorn and Reels right there on Instagram. You can tune in, you can join in and let's have fun to catch some movie gist. Okay, so before I jump into talking about movies that are coming out this week and the ones of last week and others, just prepare your mind to talk a little bit about out the Mission Impossible franchise because Dead Reckoning came out two days ago, uh, J July 14th. So, and we'll be talking some things about that. So, just prepare. So, starting off with new releases, of course, Mission mm. Impossible Dead Reckoning, which happens to be the seventh installment of the Mission Impossible franchise that started back in 1996. Well, I've told myself that I'll go and watch all the Mission Impossible so that I'll catch up again. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to be fun, though. It is going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, like, there was one thing we said some years ago that the Mission... I think it was when... Was it Rogue Nation or Fallout that we said the Mission Impossible keeps getting better with every installment? It's not like the Fast and Furious franchise where you like five, you don't like seven. I just knew you were like, going to say that. Just allow this Fast and Furious world to rest. But we are family. No, now, even Bish, even, even Blue Beetle now started saying family, family now. Everybody's copying the family it's movie. family. family. Uh, another movie that came out, uh, that new release this week, rather, Bird Box Barcelona. Oh, my God. Did you watch what? it? Have why you shouting? Oh my god! First off, it's not English. Do you know? <laughs> why why is that? it that you don't? Why is it that you don't like reading? Is it that you, <laughs> are, you are allergic <laughs> to knowledge? Are you are, are you allergic to I, knowledge? No, I don't like soft uh, the whole soft title, title thing. No, I, like it's I don't fun enjoy now. it. So stop forcing me to your anime world. Your it's it's no, which is, no, it's not what my anime idea world. What I did down? No, I don't like that. The thing is, once once you are watching international movies, you should be ready for it. It's just like the days when we were watching Indian films. But those Indian films didn't even have subtitles. Yes, we were well, watching we them like that with <laughs> No, they, they did this um, voice music like dub. No. Yes. No. All the Indian movies I watched. Shana, your time. Dub. The one where I watch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just called you old. <laughs> and the final season for Jack Ryan, uh, episode five and six, dropped on Friday. So Final season or final episodes? Ep final, final, sorry, final, final, episode final episode for the, the final, final season movie. of Jack Ryan. Yeah. There is. yeah. Why is it mid I'm tired. I told but funny you last enough, week. Funny enough, this last season, this last season from episode three was really, really good. I must say. Wow, what happened to one and two? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I haven't even watched Jack one and two, one, myself. one and two had to do with more exposition, trying to explain this, explain that, talking about... It was, just, it was just basically a setup. Like, <sighs> they're setting up how the chess piece and everything was going it's to be. It's always the same thing. Oh, I'm saving tired. The oh, mission. Some, something comes up. Oh, now let's go to one country to save so, so, so I beg. With the rest. Just watch our face. Okay, let's jump into last week's movies. We had Joyride, Insidious, The, the Red Door, The Lincoln Lawyer Season 2, which started um, last week, and um, uh, My Adventures with Superman, and then Bleach, A Thousand Years, Blood Wars Season 2. That's the story arc, right? Yeah, that's the story arc. It's, it's fantastic. It, it's, it's, it's building up. It's building up. Mm. That's for anime lovers. You should get ready. Oh like, yeah. Jumping straight into news and entertainment. Uh, Greg Mazin, the, cr the creator of the co-creator of the show, The Last of Us, says The Last of Us season two will be split into two seasons on HBO. 
The Last of Us season two will be split into two. Just yeah. like they say, uh, Fast X will be three parts. Yes. Come on. He says the show will not end with season two unless people don't watch it or we get cancelled. They oh. will cancel. No, they won't wow. cancel. People are, actually, people are actually watching it very well, Shao. So you won't get cancelled. That one, I'm sure. He said they'll be cancelled. But I, I don't. Uh, okay, let me just ask this. Have you played the game? Did you play I have. it? Did. Do you think uh, season, just one season was okay for for that for, for that, that first for, game? For part one alone, should have taken like two seasons. I think you should have taken like two seasons too. Because I, I was shocked when I had barely gone through episode three and people were like, oh my, if you see the final season, like, huh? because it is actually a very let me let me give you my own backstory of playing Last of Us. I go to visit my friend by the name of Ozone. He goes, you don't play Last of Us. I'm like, no. He now says, take part. I'll see you tomorrow. I went to see him at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And actually, that tomorrow around 4 a.m., he came and I was still like this. I was still playing. I mean, and the game is very immersive. The next day. Huh. So wow. it, there's a lot of content in that game. <clears> yeah, it's really that packed. Was not, that was not touched. You, you know, sometimes uh, when we are talking about these things, and uh, we are watching to Infantino, is watching Lost. Because he has no idea what we're talking <laughs> like, about. No what? idea. Do you play Don't games? Don't do that. But do you play games? He does. Draft. From what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, wow. I do. I do very intelligent board games, quite unfortunate exactly. for you guys. Yeah, yeah so go Thank ahead. Master. <laughs> yeah. Okay, still talking uh, young people right now. Iman Velani, the girl who played Miss Marvel in the Marvel series, in the Marvel... Um, TV the show. Series, yeah, the TV and she's show. co-creating the Miss Marvel comic series called Miss Marvel The New Mutant. And she even contributed to the design, the costume design of the character. Wait, go ah. back again. She's co-creating. Co-creating, yes. She's it's sorry, she's co-writing. Co-writing what again? Um, a new comic, a new Miss Marvel comic called Miss Marvel The New Mutant. Okay, comic comic, not show. Not no, no, show, no, 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 Okay. For those of you that loved uh, Richard, the, the TV show Richard season two is coming out this December on Prime. Yeah. Okay, I actually love Richard because I, I like the take and the guy that's playing the role of Richard, you know, he was the one that played the role of Aquaman in Smallville. Yeah, Smallville. And since then, I've been saying this guy deserves bigger was it, breaks. Was he not the one in Fast X recently? Yes, yes yeah. he was. And I, think, I, li and I, I liked his character actor. in Fast X also. I think and I was, really, I was really happy. I think he's a good actor. Um, I'm imagining seeing him in some sort of gladiatorial role. Yeah, which is, which is kind of body. Ah, and that guy moves kill it. Because one of the things I cannot, I cannot forget, but like I had that, ha, like, like, like sculpture, because when he came out of the water in yeah. small view, yeah. and everybody on the beach, they were like, <gasps> even me for house, I was like, man, I'll go gym. He's a beautiful man, right? Yes, he's a beautiful man in the voice, in the words of focus. He's a beautiful man. I mean, Henry Cavill is a beautiful man. Yes. And so, and let's uh, go into some Superman gist right now. Um, some casting, <clears throat> new casting for the Superman legacy, the James Gunn Superman legacy, uh, includes Nathan Fillon as Guy Gardner, mm -hmm. the Green Lantern Guy Gardner. Mm -hmm. Then Isabel, Isabella Merced, the girl who played Hola Dora mm -hmm. in um, Dora. Dora, Dora, Dora. Dora. they look me. No, because you, you, watch, you, 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 you watch Dora. You love Dora the Explorer. There we go. Allow me now. Uh, uh, now. But don't you love Dora the Explorer? You go with my answer. Do you love Dora the Explorer? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she has been cast as Hawk Girl. And then Eddie Gategi as Mr. Terrific. And we're going to expect Superman Legacy July 11, 2025. So James Cameron says a new Alita Battle Angel movie is in the works. I, I am excited. Wow. I want to see that. Wow. I'm sure you know a little about. Let's just continue, please. <laughs> your mission should you choose, choose to, to accept, accept is to ah. be to pick your favorite Mission Impossible movie. Ah, this message will self destruct in, in five, five seconds. <laughs> okay, so 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 should we take the trailer for Mission Impossible? Yes, we should. <laughs> okay, so the franchise has been awesome all these years, and. Um, I'm still saying it till date. My favorite Mission Impossible still has Don't to be... Don't say my own, no. We're moving on. Uh -uh, you know, go leave me my talk finish. Talk now. My favorite Mission Impossible... My favorite Mission Impossible movie still has to be the 2012 Ghost Protocol, the one he's killed the Burj Khalifa. That's your own team. That's my own. Oh, my brother! See, Why are you shouting? What's that again? Paula Pete, Paula 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 that Paula girl is something... That's, stop it, stop that's, it, stop it, stop it. Jesus, what can I do? Paula <laughs> Patton, stop it. Don't be hitting her like that, please. Why? 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 Paula Patton is copy and paste facial... Just copy... All, go and watch all of Paula Patton. Why? She's Kalu Ikago, acting as Kalu Ikago in a Kalu Ikago movie. Okay. She is Tessa Thompson in all her movies. She's I, 
the I, same thing. I shall Please, just love her. If you her. want to hail women who can act, start with Emily Blunt. No, Emily we Mary. know, Emily but we are looking at... Rebecca, Rebecca Ferguson in the Mission Impossible franchise. Mention them. Don't, don't be... Okay. Like okay, that. so what you can do is if you've watched any of the Mission Impossible or if you've watched the whole franchise still up to... Well, a lot of us have not still seen the recent one, shall we? But, like, personally, oh, the one that Henry Cavi was in and did that muscle... Fallout. Oh. Muscle reloading. Oh, no. See, uh, that, see, that you, scene, that you, toilet scene, you know where the about, chop beating. Do you know the funny thing about that muscle loading? The guy didn't know when he did it. Yes, he, he said he didn't know. It wasn't part of the He was just walking for just... Went, uh, bah, bah. And then he was coming. Jerry reload, so, Tom Cruise went back to, like, see the clip. The see rush, the rushes. And they like... This keep scene. It <laughs> keep it there. So, if you know, if you... I think if you listen very closely... Yeah, crack, crack. <laughs> man, no, man. See, that scene, eh, you know when, like, you are preparing to fight, but you don't know that they are going to beat you with all your muzu. Like, that, that Chinese guy owned them. <laughs> oh, 